in this tutorial i'll talk about solar core so let's see what is the solar core so solar core is used to refer a single index and all the associated file configuration file uh, schema data whatever you can have for a particular website it contain all that configuration file as well as data let's understand this in this way let's say you have multiple websites running in in your solar and each website is separate to each other so to maintain the data or the index or the configuration to a particular website you create a core so you can have multiple core okay you can have multiple core in your solar server so you will understand solar core like this let's say i have a aem okay in aem i have two websites right aem geeks and geeks tutorial and i want a website to be indexed in solar in entirely in different sections right i do not want to in, you know communicate between these two right so what i'll do i'll create two cores and i'll index data for a particular website in one core so this core you will see one here this core will contain everything for this website let's say configuration file schema its data and indexes everything so that's why i want to maintain these two separate sites in in solar so i'll create two separate cores and each separate con contain everything to handle the search and indexes and all the data so as part of this tutorial we'll see how to create these cores so for this tutorial what we'll have we'll have two cores one for the am geeks another one for the geeks tutorial and we'll see how you can do that so there is a structure about it so if you go to the installation directory of solar you'll find a folder called server and then solar inside this folder you create these cores each core can have two mandatory folders one is conf another one is data okay data is to index your data right you will see whenever you index you, all the data is stored inside the data folder another one is conf this contain all your configuration your schema and everything your localization whatever you can have but two files are mandatory manage hyphen schema and solar config we have other files as well but these are mandatory so we'll see the demo of these two cores and we'll see how you can create cores the purpose of this tutorial to understand the integration so i'll not go much detail in the solar related concepts we can have later these kind of concepts so i'll go to the parent folder and i will start solar bin hyphen solar start so if you are inside bin you can run only this command okay i'll start and it will start in 8983 so if you run your solar you will land here so you will see all the cores available this core we created in last tutorial okay so we have to create two cores so i'll go to the core admin and i'll say add core okay you will find all these details so what you'll do these two directories should be there so let's say name is am geeks okay am geeks and the directory is also am geeks so what you should have this directory should be already there otherwise you'll get error if you hit like this now it may create directory but it will not successful so what we have to do we have to go to this file structure and we have to create this directory am geeks right so i'll go here where my solar is and then i'll go to the server and inside server solar okay i'm here inside this i have to create a directory called am geeks right inside so this is my parent of my core inside this i have to create two uh, folders as i said conf conf and data right your conf should have two mandatory you know files as i said earlier so what i'll do because i'm not expert in this solar and as part of this tutorial we'll see the integration not will not go further detail in solar so what you can do you can get all the files from the my demo site so i'll come here conf set go to my sample and whatever i have inside this i'll copy that even you don't need all the files but to the safer side i'm adding everything from here to my core right so that i have schema and everything together I mean sample schema and all we can change it later if we need so what i'll do i'll go to this here and inside here and i will copy everything here now i will come here 
okay and if i save it now it will create my schema if i don't create those folders there you will get error here so let me hit and see if it is work okay it's created right if i come here and see uh, not tech product let's come back here so it's created but if you see this items are zero right the so same way i'll create the geeks admin as well so what i have to do again i'll come back here and same way i have to create one more folder called geeks tutorial okay geeks okay geeks tutorials and same way i have to create two uh, folders or two directories inside it so for the safer side what i'll do i'll copy everything here this one and if you see here this core properties were not there earlier okay so once i create core that property file created from the uh, dashboard itself so what i'll do i'll come here and i'll paste this okay okay so i created one more here and just copied that so if you see if you come back and you see the data data actually contains your index data so i don't need it for now because that came from uh, the, my old websites means from where we copied so let's remove this okay and same way i'll remove it from here itself also once we index that our own website you'll get all the data here so basically this folder contain your index data okay now let's go again to this and add one more core so what i'll say i need this core geeks tutorials spelling is correct and one more okay and i will save it see it has been created so now i have two cores right one for my am site one more for my geeks uh, tutorials but i don't have any content here means i don't i did not index data right so we'll see how you can index from our apis we'll make a call from am and we'll index data here but for the for to show you okay let me come here you as soon as you select this you'll see some options here so inside the number of options we will see that later you can define schema here replication query okay May, important part for now for this uh, tutorial is this query right you have multiple queries here right so you you can search query so even if i hit search zero because i don't have anything you can add documents right this way you can add document there are multiple option how you can document from this way as well you can have c csv file document builder file upload json so if you have any json you can put it here and just submit it will add that document to this means the data to it each each uh, item is called document here so if you see i am adding a document to it and update i just simple added a json so ideally it should submit and if you see this has been submitted no error so if i go back and search a query I should get one result see whatever I added that is here it add their own uh, some field as well like version and this one so this add but for each document ID is mandatory if you don't add any ID it will add it for your for your document but it's good to have you, you give own ID so that you can when you search you can you can search using ID or something else as well so that your your document id is in your your control rather than solar added for you so i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment so one thing these names these names means code names are important because we will be using these when we will make the api calls from am to the solar server if you have any question add your comment thank you